back to another week of songwriting. I'm so excited to read a song today. It is pretty early in the morning on a random Tuesday. I have a few ideas of something that I want to write about. I don't know how I'm going to execute it though, so it'll, it'll be interesting, but basically I thought of the word wanted and I feel like there's so many ways that you can discuss that word. I don't even know how to describe it. I'm going to play around with the different ways that you can use the word and I feel like it's gonna be a bit challenging but it's gonna be really really cool. I also want to write another piano song so we're gonna do that today and honestly let's get right into it. So of course kind of like last time I'm gonna just play around with some chords until I find something that I really love. <laughs> Actually. So that's the key of E. The true fans <laughs> will know that this is that right there is the start of Top of a Cloud. So very sweet. Okay, so I'm gonna just start working on the verse now. I feel like the chorus for this one is gonna come easier. I feel like it might also be interesting to start every verse kind of saying like, I've always wanted blah, 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 blah. Kind of similar to what we did last week, but also not similar because we're not writing the same song. You know what I mean? Um...
got a more of a layout. See, I do stuff like that and I'm just throwing stuff at the wall. I do, I don't, I don't even know what to consider that, what it is called, but I basically just throw out random lyrics, kind of at least to figure out how I want the chords to sound. And the chords, I don't even think about. I just play what I think will sound good. So that gives me kind of a layout of the verse leading into like a pre-chorusy thing going into whatever. It's really fascinating to me. So I need another four or three lines, whatever it is. I need something that sounds like the first part, which I've already kind of played for you. to this pre chorusy thing. I hope this is making sense. So the first eight lines, that first part that I sang for you, that's the verse. <laughs> I, keep, I keep going off the rails. All right. It's time to share all of verse and pre-chorus. pre-chorus that last line needs a little bit of tweaking but again I feel like it'll get better the more that I play through it and I know that it's hard to share all So this 
next part, I want to have fun with the word haunted. So, I mean, wanted, wanted was what we were. I want the name of the song to be wanted. So, always wanted to be wanted, me be wanted to be wanted is enough. Always wanted to be wanted, me be wanted to be wanted is enough. Mm, that's cute to end it. So another thing that I like to do is jump around. Sometimes when I'm writing a chorus, I like to like figure out the final line first and then work my way up. Sometimes it's easier to do something like that compared to just writing everything all in order. I feel like, especially with a chorus, you want the last line to really have a punch to like stick with you. And sometimes I feel like if you start with that last thing, you know what you're writing up to. It's kind of like, hmm, I'm in school, right? It's kind of like writing an essay, how you want to have this first argument figured out, like your main argument figured out, and then you kind of fill everything else in after that. Basically the same thing. So what should we say in this course? I know that we're going to have the, I've always wanted to be wanted, but maybe wanting to be wanted is enough. two right now. Okay. Too randomly. I guess I'll play that for you. <laughs> Instead of doing the same pre-chorus, we're gonna change it up a little, little bit. It's gonna be... And I know what it's hard to show all of your tears But isn't that what falling in love's all about? So instead of fears, I say show all your tears. So it's just a little bit different, but it kind of discusses something new. So cute. So now we have verse one and verse two in the pre-chorus. Now we just need a chorus and a bridge. Why is it always that I end up without a chorus or a bridge? Like I just can't, I can't do it. I don't know. I've always wanted to be wanted, but maybe wanting to be wanted is no.
kidding me? So, so cute. I'm gonna play from the pre course because I haven't done that yet. Let's see how it sounds. And I know that it's hard to share all of your fears. But isn't that what falling in love's all about? Taking chances for those meaningful glances that follow you. obsessed with this song. It's honestly kind of funny because yesterday in my class we talked about what we thought that love was and everybody had so many different ideas and I feel like it kind of inspired me to write this and it's really really fascinating because everybody looks at love as something else and the way it makes everybody feel is so different you know it's just it's so interesting so now all I have to do is do a bridge. Wow! Very cool. This is so cute. This song is so fun. And you know, <laughs> I could only imagine watching this as a viewer, like, 
I say this after I write every single song, so I bet this is so annoying to me, but like when you're writing something that you really, really like, you get so excited about it and you honestly think like, oh my God, this is the best song I've ever written, like hands down, and then you walk away, then you come back and you write another one that you love and then you're like, no, this one's the best song I've ever written. Like it's, it's never ending, but oh, I can't even explain the feeling that I get when I write a song that I'm like so, so proud of. It makes me so happy. Like after I'm done this, this is gonna completely change my day. Like it's the funniest thing in the entire world, but it, it really just completely shifts. Shifts your day because you did something and you're so proud of yourself for doing it. It's like the same feeling I get after working out. Like it's it's the best thing in the world. I, I can't even explain it. So I highly recommend finding something like that for yourself to do. Whether it's like a creative thing or some kind of expression, but like, oh, it's it's gonna just completely change my day. Not that my day's been bad, it's been great. I slept in, worked out, living the dream. But um, it's, it's crazy and I really hope that you're able to one day find that or that you have that for yourself because it's the best thing in the entire world. A bridge. I've always wanted to be wanted, but maybe want to be took a chance a little bit of tweaking but I really like the taken back chorus and then changing the but she's taking chances for those showing that like the girl in this scenario <laughs> she's willing to open up for that now you know what I mean and I feel like that's really special and then moving into that faster paced course it's gonna be it's gonna be really good I'm really happy with this song and honestly I'm gonna leave it there I'm gonna play through it a few times and then you'll hear the full thing on Sunday yeah, but honestly, I love this song. I think it's so cute. I feel it's so, so, so personal to me. 
especially right now, but I hope you enjoyed sitting and writing another song with me. We only have a few more of these left. Isn't that so sad? I honestly don't know what I'm gonna end up doing with myself, but this is just so cool. It's a fun experience and I really appreciate you guys hanging in there with me um, and learning about the creative process, at least the creative process that I'm partaking in. I think it's so cool that so many people are fascinated with it. But this is my lovely song called Wanted and I hope you enjoyed watching it. And hey, another amazing song called Wanted by Hunter Hayes. Such a good song. Thank you for watching and I will see you on Sunday for the performance video. Bye.